it's a tale as old as time. We were happy with how the season started, and now we've lost a big player. Release clauses every single time. This is Beyond Blue Brazil. Welcome in. We've lost one of our big, beautiful boys. On deadline day, in comes Burnley to ruin my season. Before it even gets started, we've lost Big Al. Powerhouse centre back, six foot four, Big Al has gone for 15 million. I tried to offer him a contract. He was on 7k here, he's now on 40k a week. We couldn't get close to what he wanted. He did want thirty k a week. It's frustrating. Um, he had a couple. He had plenty of years left on his contract, but we couldn't keep him. Keep hold of him. So he's gone. We get fifteen million for him. I think it's an it's an okay fee. Obviously, you can't read into the value. He's obviously going to be higher value now on a much higher wage. We. Haven't moved for a new centre back. Dylan Torres is going to have to step up. That's that's the hope that he can step up another twenty year old centre back. We have, we still got Kamara. Um, yeah, it's, it's riled me a little bit. The most money we've received in a season uh, to date, which is good. It certainly helps us out financially, which was looking very ropey. But ten million in the bank that come January, if we need to move, we can move. But Disappointed to lose him. Dylan Torres will have to step up. The issue with Dylan Torres tends to be his fitness, but um, six foot two, very physical player, got speed and stuff. We'd say he's better than Big Al in that regard, but yeah, will he have the same sort of? Um, can he stay fit? Basically, that in injury prone is worrying. Not the best passer. Um, don't ask our, our centre backs to do too much, but needs to be able to make the odd pass or two. Higher ceiling possibly than Big Al, but I don't know. Big Al was a, a big part of this team for a long time, so we've lost him. Oliver is still kicking around, he won't leave. Velasco is getting back to fitness. Um fortunately he stayed. Nobody because he, he was injured, probably no one put a bid in, but yeah, been alright. Um, things are gone all right since last time we played Motherwell 1-0 victory over them we've brought you back just before the Aberdeen game because Aberdeen is second and we're top of the table so we're going to do a top of the table clash versus Aberdeen and we're going to play Milan and what we're actually going to do is we're going to get through a, a couple of games where we're going to come a bit deeper in the season because we can't I, I, th I think every couple of games stopping when we're only doing two videos a week the season's going to really prolong so we're going to come back after a chunk of games i just thought it was important to come back now after the window is closed we've lost a big player we now play a tough side in aberdeen who are playing very well this season and we're in a bit of disarray so i thought it'd be interesting another thing to note going into this game Stuart McCord has signed a new contract finally dropped his grievances with me got him on a new three-year deal Lovely. The team to start against Aberdeen, a Lee and goal, Caschiato, a left wing back, Paul Byrne, right wing back, Manny and Torres, our new centre back, preferred pairing. We'll see how that, that goes during this game. McLean and Queely as defensive midfielders, Scott and Pedrinho as our attacking midfielders, Johnson and McCord up top. They've played very well so far this season. Let's see if they can deliver again. And it's a very game Aberdeen side. We're off to go play them, and um, I'm hoping. Genuinely hoping that we can beat them here and uh, start putting a little bit of a gap between us and everyone else. I know it's very early, but, you know, Celtic drop points and we drop points in the same week. Not great. We beat Rangers already, but because we dropped points, they've closed the gap, you know. Aberdeen being right up there as well. Anderson on the corner. Whips this in far corner. It's headed away by Torres. Torres... Gonna find himself going from um, a squad player to first choice here with Big Al Anderson's in. Where's the keep? What's the keeper doing? Yeah, I was away to say offside because the keeper did nothing there. 
He did look to have a... Oh, he's miles off. It's a really good line held by the new look back four. But, yeah, worrying. Just a little worrying start. Aberdeen are up for this. They have started the season very well. Encourage the team here. Little worried. Good tackle there. Adrino, McLean. Back to Manny. Nice Torres. Quealy. Torres again. Torres not the best passer. So every time he's now on the ball, panic sets in. Got forward to Johnson. Just stretches legs. Takes the ball out to the left. Can he find McCord? No. Find Scott. Caschiato. McCord. It goes over his head. Nice little um turn there. Back to Quealy. Back to the defender. McLean. Ball over the top. Johnson. It's a great volley. It's an even better save. Johansson keeps that one out. We get our first corner of the game. Pedrinho's going to line this one up. Lifts it in. Headed away. Torres was lurking at that near post. Pedrinho puts it back in, but intercepted by Raymond. Mm. Caschiato. We've grown into this game slightly in recent minutes. Ball over the top. Johnson could give chase. Bansfield now powers the ball forward. Manny can pick that up. McLean. Back to Manny. Rain falling. Got to moving the ball well. <sighs> there you go. And as soon as I, I speak, a mistake. Malloy doubled up on that side. Pierce now driving forward. Whipped in. Easily headed away by Caschiato. He's got that height anyway, but nobody there to get the ball. And again, Manny heads away this time. McLean drives forward. Can he find a pass? Pops it in behind for Johnson. Driving forward. Could be massive. It's a beautiful goal. I have no idea where the Aberdeen goalkeeper was going there. I'd be raging if I was in the stands. It's a beautiful finish. Johnson, I think that's his 10th of the season. He's flying. That is a great ball by McLean. Completely takes the defender out of it. Johnson puts it on his left. Drives to the left-hand side. Keeper. Maybe the rain. Affected him, don't know, but he, he showed a lot of that goal there. And uh, Johnson took him up on the offer. I'm going to go balance here just because Aberdeen have been so aggressive. Right, Byrne lets up one bounce. Normally I wouldn't like that, but he did have the, the space to allow that, and he's not great in the air, so maybe heading it wouldn't have been the best idea. Puts it forward to McCord. McCord holds it up, finds Byrne again. Very nice. Torres, Queely, McLean. Moving the ball well, out to Byrne. Good touch. Forward to McCord. Can he drive this across the box? He can. Johnson, far corner. McCord and Johnson linking up again. 2-0 over second place Aberdeen. This is a good start to this, this game. We're about 40 minutes in, but um, it's certainly not over yet. But yeah, really nice play in in the last 5-10 minutes. That's just, that's just good. That's a good partnership right there. That deep line forward and then advance forward. Just work. Again, beautifully in tandem. I could tell them I think they can do even better. I've got faith. I like that Dylan Torres has stepped into the team and is having a good game. Uh, Alex Scott having a poor game though, so we're going to take him off. We're going to take on Baldson. Great ball forward. Pedrinho's there. He could kill this game now. What is the keeper doing? We've hit the post. The keeper shown so much of the goal time and time again. We don't manage to take advantage there. Let's not give Aberdeen any reason to, to get their hopes up. Good header away. Malloy, Anderson. I think that's offside. I think it's offside. It is. Looked like he was he was about a yard off when this ball was played. Cracking little pass. At, ooh. Which oh, maybe a lot closer than I thought it was. I would say he would have been onside. But maybe he's got long feet, you know. Now we play the letter of the law around here. Burn is going to come off. Oh, is he going to come off? Do I dare take on Adamson? We're only 2-0 up. If we score a third here, I'm taking on Adamson. We've lost the ball. We're not taking on Adamson. Even though it was Burn, I might take off Kibala or take on Kibala. What am I doing? What am I doing? Raymond now whips it across. Win that header. Headed back across. It's blocked. Caschiato, don't mind that at all. When in doubt, put it out. Just absolutely launches it into the crowd. Burn maybe comes off. Good header away by Manny. Go on, Adamson. 
I've done it. I've taken on Adamson and we'll take off Torres, who's having a good game, but bring on Kamara. We do have options centre back. We don't have as many. We, it feels like a couple of seasons ago we had about five or six centre backs for two positions, but um, we've certainly got options there. Anderson, surely that's offside. Don't make that one be onside. He's been offside this entire game. That's worrying after making those changes. I don't think they're made yet. Adamson's on, but I'm pretty sure Torres is still on. So we've taken on our center back. Oh boy. I hope that isn't the that isn't gonna be the mistake. It's tight, he's just onside. Now remember they don't have that great link, so hopefully bring on Kamara, we can shut that down, sort that out. Caschiato suddenly not playing well at all. Oh, I don't like that. Back defend, maybe? That's a goal. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Not okay. What has happened? In the last couple of minutes, just dreadful. <sighs> Anderson couldn't even stay on side earlier, and now everything he's touched flies in. Come on. We need to get the ball forward. We need to get the ball to... Uh, we need to get the ball to Gordon Johnson because everything he's touched has turned to goal as well. Lee launches it. Johnson with the header. McCord. Oh, if he could have just played up the ball in. Pedrinho. Blocked. Uh, it's offside. Oh, dropped points again. We just cannot keep a clean sheet now. Oh, I'm really worried about... Was bringing on Adamson the wrong call there? Have I cost myself that game? Or is our keeper just not good enough? It's that same thing we've had in the last couple of years. I'm worried about the goalkeeper quality. Very disappointed. Really disappointed. Oh, no. Selker joint points with us and Rangers have a chance to go top. Oh, I hate that. And we have two days, two days to get ready for the AC Milan game. Oh, it's so bad. The schedules are just absolutely rotten. Come on, Dundee United, go and like do something useful. Go and like get a result. They did. Oh, Dundee United, love you. Never in doubt. Make the most of set pieces. Devastated. I haven't had Velasco fit. That seems insane. We got asked to improve the training facilities because we got that money from the Big Al transfer. They've given it. That's good. We are at home here. We we need a result. We need we need a positive result. I know it's AC Milan, but um, yeah, there are home games are key in Europe. Absolutely. Trying to sort out the in the background some of the staff. Like with the money we've got, I've decided to start throwing it about on release clauses for coaches. So bringing in good quality coaches for the reserves in the under 18s and stuff and just filling out our, our staff and making sure we um making sure we're giving the young players every chance of developing in the good players. Which another reason why we're up in the facilities and stuff. The team to play AC Milan at Central Park will be Eric Shot in goal. Caschiato, left wing back, Kuliba, right wing back, Torres and Mane as a centre back pair, McLean and Quigley as a defensive midfielder, Scott and Ham as our attacking midfielders, Johnson and Velasco up top. I'm starting to think that we need to go hunt for another left wing back. I'm a little worried. Um, our options there all of a sudden, especially having lost a central figure in that central defence. But yeah, we go with Caschiato, Kuliba on the right-hand side. Maybe need to get MacArthur more involved. Um, just think about ourselves defensively um, in some of these games. This is going to be a tough game. It really is. I think um, 
AC Milan potentially going to be one of the tougher teams. I think they were seeded. Yeah, they were seeded first. So potentially grown into a bit of a team, but it's our home leg, so we've got to try our best and um, get a good result today. Make a difference. Make a difference. Make a bloody difference. After the draw against Aberdeen, um, I feel like our season has not started great, but I haven't lost yet, so keep that in mind. Let's see how AC Milan cope with the Brazilian box. Well, they're coping very well. They're off to an absolute flyer. Pepper in our goal. Um, we are going to go balanced. That's the only change we're going to make. Go balanced and just see if we can... They've got the ball. We want to be ready to counter. Gilman's popped it forward. Ramos dr just drives past our wing back. Great tackle by the wing back. Manny picks the ball up to Eric Shutt. We play it out from the back. Very nice. We recovered very well there. Torres to Scott. Scott looking forward for Johnson. Sadly does not get over the centre back. Eo now, now driving forward. Inside. That's a good ball. That's a f good finish. Is he offside? I think he was maybe offside. I I think he is a yard ahead of our centre back there. We maybe aren't this lucky. Oh. We are. It was a very nice ball in the box, but he did look like he just, just didn't time it right. Again, it's... <laughs> oh, we maybe get away with one. Very tricky. What we're actually going to do is we're going to go cautious here. I know we're at home, but they are they are pushing, so... Let's see if we can catch him on the counter. Maybe a bit more direct and lower that tempo. Rahim lifts it in. Good header away by Torres. Johnson tries to pick it up. It's a heavy touch. He's going to have to keep going with the man. Brahim puts it across. Back to the keeper. Eric Shutt puts it forward. I thought for a second it was going to land at Johnson. Could you imagine that? What a counter that would have been if the goalie just launched it forward and Johnson had taken it in stride. They've got into space and it's a very poor goal to concede. That classic put the ball into the box towards our wing back and he cannot challenge in the air. It just goes in. Oh. After all that, after managing to survive those earlier offsides to concede such a simple goal. I don't think we've got MacArthur on the bench as well. We don't. Tamori going to play out from the back, taking the ball forward. It means if we could have nipped in and got the ball, he would have been completely out of position. But Dam's guard, nothing wrong with that challenge. Nothing wrong with it. He wins the ball. The ball goes off the defender, goes out for a goal kick. They're going to give a pen. Oh, corrupt. Absolutely corrupt. No other way of looking at it. Disgusting. Kessie drives it in the bottom corner. Keeper goes the right way, just can't get his hands to it. Well, no point in uh no point in any of this. Two nil down at home against Milan is not where we want to be at this stage in the our career. Aberdeen draw just completely derailed us. Losing Big Al has completely derailed us. That's not a foul. He's off. Madness. We're in a real bad spot. I've moved Queely to play right back and he's just taken a throw in straight to an AC Milan player for no real reason Eric shot was first save of the game only took him 45 minutes and it was offside I've gone in on the team but obviously Kubala has let us down massively but we don't look like we've got much of an idea what we're doing right now
Haven't seen much from Velasco. Haven't seen any free kicks. Haven't seen any corners. Haven't had the ball enough to get forward. Oh. Problem is, this kind of result will completely cripple us for the next couple of games. Um, until we... We've got big games coming up. Massive games ahead of us. <sighs> wow. Velasco, corner in. Torres hits the bar, of course. Couldn't they get a consolation goal? Raise our, our spirits just a little bit. Lane to Scott. Back to Manny. I just feel like this ends in a misplaced pass and us in real trouble. Paul Byrne, he's been moved out to the left. Pulls back to Scott. Into Velasco. Falls to Waldson. He puts it away. First goal of the season. More of that, please, boys. I think we just encourage them. Down to 10 men. 3 nil down. We get a scrappy goal to make it 3-1. Early crosses, mixed crosses. Let's change something, even though we just scored. We try and catch them out. Paul Burns now injured. Our team is falling apart. We've got no wing backs left. Um, I take on Pedrinho. Um, he can cross. Why not? Oh, Lord. Give me strength. And our free kick for AC Milan. It's a free header. He's offside. He better be offside. Linesman hasn't moved. He better be offside because he looked like he was two free yards ahead of our man. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. How can we not do the simple thing? Like, why do they not move with him? How, how, how are we getting this so wrong? Europe is just so tough. We just don't have the team to compete in Europe. But that was a very poor performance. Sending off certainly didn't help, but we were dead and buried before the sending off felt like. Paul burn out for three, four weeks. We are now ballad band just falling to pieces. In an episode where we score three goals, we only end up with one point in two different competitions. Not good, not good enough. The losing Big Al, and I'm just gonna say losing because I didn't want to sell him. I tried everything to keep him. Just after such a solid start to the season, with that big win over our Rangers, it looks very rough. We're sixth best in terms of goals conceded. We are conceding far too many goals. Need need to go out and and look and see about um, spending some of this money we do have because we need some better wing backs still. New Gates receipt record, lovely, but we are in trouble. So we're actually going to go and come back in a decent amount of time. We'll see how I get on, but I'm not going to return for Rangers or Celtic because big game certainly, but we need to get this series moving. I think we'll actually return for the real San Sebastian game. So I pray we can get something at Dortmund, but... Not holding out hope. So yeah, we'll return in about a month's time. And the league and the, and these competitions could look a lot different by then. So if you're enjoying the series, do hit that like button on this video. It does really help. It gets it out to more people. Comment away. That also helps. Helps the algorithms. I just... No idea where that came from today. Two very poor performances. Aberdeen and Millie having a great season, but we're 2-0 up 
I think I got it wrong with the Finn Adamson substitution in the Milan game. I think it just shows the gulf between ourselves and these big European teams. Ah, it's disappointing. Can we say how much money they've got? They've got a balance of 79 million. Yeah, it feels like they are just a different level to us, to be honest. But still hated it. Hated every second of it. Right. I'll be back for the San Seba the real San Sebastian game and uh we'll play Ross County as well, I guess. Right. Join me then when we once again go beyond Blue Brazil. <laughs>